okay all right so i just took off my makeup off you probably can't tell the difference okay i just did my eyes and my eyebrows earlier but when i be walking in i live in well i stay in school in columbus so it's really hot in atlanta and georgia and i'm sure the whole south is still hot it's like how many degrees it is it's like 84 degrees outside and it's like really like where is the cold weather now there is a little breeze but it'd be like early in the morning or late night and it needs to be like in the 70s already um it's steady going down but it's like you really cannot tell the difference like that um i think it was like two weeks ago the it was one day it was like 89 degrees and I think it was like 96 or 89. I don't know. And then the next day it was like 69 degrees. I'm like, hold up. I know I was like waiting for fall, but good God. I'm cleaning my glasses, y'all. I should have cleaned my camera, but I don't think it needs to be clean. Because I clean my screens all the time. Like, I have my wipes and I just clean it off because. You never know what's lingering on your phone. Like, you have so many bacteria on your phone that you just don't really notice that it's on your phone. Then you hold up to your ear. Like, I don't do that. Like, I have a Bluetooth thing. I don't know where it's at. But I have a Bluetooth. I don't think I did a video on it. And I just talk on the phone with that. Like, I don't like holding my phone like that. So, I'm finna use my witch hazel. I like to put witch hazel or apple cider vinegar. Some kind of string it on my face before I put on makeup. I don't know why. It makes me feel clean. Um, even though I just took off my makeup, but it's like, it makes my skin feel fresh and clean. Um, so, or you can use Sea Breeze, whatever you want to use. This is string it. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but oh well. Um, so y'all know this shirt that I got right here. It says Columbus State University. Okay, so I had paid like, I think it was like $20 for this shirt. Or $25, I can't remember. It's like, I don't wear this shirt every day. <laughs> Not every day, but like at least once a week. Or twice a week. And I was telling my roommate, my sister, that I was like, I'm gonna get my money to her. I don't like to spend that much money on like shirts like if it's like short sleeves or something like that i can wear it year round but like if it's long sleeves it's like ugh, i can only wear that in a cold so i just put that on my face y'all i'm doing this video to talk to y'all because i have not okay i have videos that's that I have not edited and I have videos that's not published. So it uploaded as well. So some of them are quick to um, edit and some of them aren't. So yeah, so it's a couple of videos. I have a what's in my makeup bag. Um, I have lip swatch video i don't know if i want to upload that one because i don't like the way i don't like the way i look in that video so i probably would just delete that um i probably would just delete that video and save it i just probably just delete it i'm going to take my color corrector i have another I'm going to use that yellow one, but I probably just use my new one. And this is by ELF. Conceal everything. Now, I want you guys to try out a yellow um, concealer, color correct, same thing. Um, if you have acne or dark spots, instead of using the orange, and it's like a peach kind of corrector. Um, I got this idea from um, a more... Anastasia, Anastasia, I can't pronounce anybody's name, but you probably know who I'm talking about. You can always look her up, but um, I got this idea from her. She was doing some makeup videos, and you see the before and after of her makeup, whatever, 
And she has acne, you know, scars. I think it's hyperpigmentation. I don't think it's like acne, but someone who has acne scars like me, I need that. Like, I need it. Like, I need my coverage. And I got me some new brushes from Amazon. So, I'm going to use them because my other brushes, honey, it was time for me to throw those away. It was time for me to throw it away. Like, they were dead. I threw a couple... Here's my old brushes, but you know, I'm gonna still use this one because it's still in good shape. It needs to be washed, but. But these, here's some of the brushes, and it has the name. For the big brushes, they have the name on the thing. Like, this says face angle brush, so. I need to buy some more foundation. What shade this is? This is Cocoa Bean. Ain't Cocoa Bean too dark? Okay, um, is it Cocoa Bean? I don't know how this is going to look on my skin, but hopefully it's not too dark because I'm running out of foundation and I probably have to be real light with this. So if it looks dark, excuse me, it kind of has like a reddish orange. A reddish orangey tone to it so I'm gonna use a little bit and this is by black radiance and this is the color perfect uh, liquid foundation it's cocoa bean I did a video on the black radiance foundations how to match your skin tone okay well it looks all right so I had did a video, it was the five minute makeup challenge. I didn't like the way I looked in that video, so it probably won't be uploaded. I think it's already uploaded, but you know, it's like the videos that you look a mess in, you get the most views. And it's like, even though people just don't hardly like thumbs it down, but it's like you look the mess in that video. And it, is, it has been plenty of videos that I was looking like amazing. The makeup, my eyebrows are done, my hair was done, my wigs were flat, and it's like nobody hardly watched those videos. Some of them, it was alright. But it's like, dang, I can't watch the video when I was beat. So it's like, ugh. Cause I'm like, well, I'm not gonna get no views anyways. And the next time I know the video has like a hundred views or something. Like I did a review on the uh Big lots, wireless headphones. And I was not expecting to get a lot of views like that, but I did. So, yeah. I think this foundation looks okay. I didn't put that much on. Um, I have like one more class and I'm going to eat dinner, so I'm going to be gone for a while. But I just wanted to do my makeup. <sighs> so school is stressing me out um I'm really trying to stay calm um y'all I am happy this week is about to come off but I'm really trying to stay calm and be patient with myself um, I'm taking five classes right now. Now, one class is going to end next Monday, so I don't have to worry about that class. But that class was not giving me that much troubles like the other ones. And I'm taking biology. I'm taking my education class. And I'm taking American government. And I'm taking English. Um... English class that has to write a lot of papers. And yeah, so we just got our new assignment last class, so and the rough draft is due next week. So I gotta have at least five pages typed and printed out. I cannot find what I'm looking for. 
But I'm I'm not finished with my face yet. I'm probably just go ahead and do it, but I'm not finished with my face just yet. So yeah, I don't know what kind of look I'm gonna do. I really want to be boring. But I'll take this brown shade, y'all. I love this palette so much. And it's the only like palette that I have. Well, yeah, that I have that lasts long. Okay, well, that's not a good payoff. I probably just do a neutral eye because I really don't want a lot of makeup done because well, I did not put no primer on, on my eyelids. Like, when I do my makeup and things like that, it's like I forget putting on my face primer. I ain't put on my face primer early. I, I forget putting on my face primer, my eyeshadow primer, and sometimes my setting spray. And it's like, ugh. I probably just leave my eyes like this because I'm going to one glass. And I won't, and I'm not going to do a lot, so. I'm going to leave it like this. You think so? I don't know. I could have put a little shadow to it. But, yeah. Um, I have something else. So, I just got me a new phone. Um, I got the Samsung J7, and I'm recording with it now, so you can't see it, but I do have a video. It's like an unboxing, but not really. It's like a show and tell. Um, but yeah, so I don't know what kind of color I'm going to go for. Hmm. Okay, so, um, what am I going to do? I don't know what eyes I want to go for. Um, I have something to tell you guys. I'm going to go for this silver color in there, right there. I haven't tried this when it's wet. I like to wet the glitterly I say glitterly the glittery um eyeshadows because I like the way it looks it looks very full like it looks like full of eyelids so I'm gonna take off my glasses because I cannot see and I cannot do my makeup like this oh that's pretty Well, not quite, but I do the best I can. But, um, I'm planning to do a, um, a fall eye look, but it's going to be like a black smoky eye, but I don't know if I'm going to do it. I have the blue smoky eye video already uploaded on my channel, and it turned out pretty good, but I had lost the freaking footage. And I think I made a mistake and deleted it or the camera cut off. And like, it turned out so nice and pretty. So I had to redo that, that simple footage again. And it was like at the end of the day. And I was not looking right. So, that was a bust. One thing about recording videos by a window when there's people like have their cars right there. I hope they don't see me. Cause that will be really, really, really awkward. Okay, I wanna talk about something else. Um I was studying the other day and I was like thinking in my head and I was studying and I was like me taking the the online class things, most of the class, I think it was like two or three classes, they were like electives, 
But if I start to replace the classes that I'm taking now, like the biology, the American government, my English I have to take this semester, next semester, and the math that I have to take next semester, I would have already been finished with that. Like, I would have been working on, like, my classes will probably all be my education classes right now. But the school that I went to, they did not offer the education classes online. And, like, it doesn't, like, I can do the volunteer service, but it's like, I wish that it was. And, like, the math classes that I had to take was not available online, so I couldn't do that, or the English. So it's like, I'm taking those again. It's like, well, I'm not taking those again, but I'm taking those right now in next semester. And I should already been finished with those, but, yeah. Y'all, I am hot. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do right now. It's not all perfect. Like, I'm not a makeup artist. So, yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, back to the new phone. I keep forgetting, but I got me a new phone. Uh, it's a Samsung J7. Um, so far... Okay, I had the S3, and it lasted about a year, and, okay, because I got it during Christmas time, and then next semester, like, I love the phone, it had a nice screen, nice camera, um, I can download apps, I can decorate my phone, that's the major good things about Samsung phones, but it was that damn battery, and that battery starts to act up, and it starts to sweat, it overheats, and it's like, Really? So, around, I say May, I ordered me a new battery. Well, I called the company, gave me a new battery. So, I got me a new battery. Uh, it was still acting up. So, like, it was working fine, and then it started to act up. And then, um, it started to act up a little bit. And then I got me a, two new batteries. So, it was working fine during that, those times for the rest of that semester. So, Going to the next year, I'll say this is like 2015, around this time, so 2015, um, that, uh, summer again, my phone was acting up, like, don't matter, I, like I just said, I had three batteries at the time, so I had my old battery, the battery that the company gave me, and the battery that I purchased, and I purchased another one, just in case they want to drain, and it's good when you have Android phones to have more than one battery. Just in case you need to call somebody and if you are a heavy um, user on your phone like I am, um, you want to have an extra battery. So, I had those and I really liked it. It was very, very nice. Then it started to sweat and get hot. Some days it wants to shut on. Some days it does not want to come on at all. Like my phone is giving me so many notifications like... So anyway, so I bought me another phone and the lady was like, if do you want an S3 again or do you want a um LG Stylo? And so I was like, I'm gonna get an LG Stylo. The reason that I got it because the phone was big and I cannot get the note for it because my mom was being low down. So I had some money that I can like pay for the LG Stylo. The LG Stylo was like two thirty nine. It wasn't that much. So I had five hundred dollars that I think okay, I had five hundred dollars but I had other things to pay for that five hundred. So I could have paid for the phone but I had other things to pay for that five hundred dollars, you get what I'm saying? So I just opt for the LG Stylo. Um the camera looked okay in the it, the camera looked good in the store. And I was like testing it out. Then I went outside and I was like, I don't like this. It looks very cartoony. The only thing that I like the phone is like the front facing camera a little bit. But yeah. Um, I kind of didn't like the camera quality. Like if the camera quality was like a S3 level, it would have been better. But that camera was like a Note 1 level. Or S1 level. <laughs> like it was not up to par. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know if I want to do eyeliner because I'm not a good eyeliner person. 
Like, I cannot land. I do land it, but, yeah. Um. I'll do my eyebrows. Um. I keep saying um a lot. So, anyway, so I got that phone, and I had that phone from 2015, 2016 to now. During, um. September my phone, the LG style phone. The battery was okay. The battery was amazing. Like I would have charged that thing and like let's just say it was on ten percent. I would charge it by forty five minutes, it would be like on eighty percent. Like that battery was amazing. Um Yeah, so it was amazing. But that's really the only thing that I liked about the phone. The screen was a nice size, but I did not like the resolution like that. Um, so yeah, so, it's like every time that I buy a pretty case for a phone, my phone wants to break or give out. So, I bought me a case. And the case did not fit my phone though, but I was mad. So, I contacted the seller and he was like, we'll see your new one. And I was like, okay. And by the time they replied, I had my new phone. So, I was like, well, can you just send me one for this phone? I'm waiting for that gift, but anyway, so, I don't do that much to my eyebrows, y'all. I'm going to one class. Who cares? Um, so, yeah, so I had a, another phone that was sent to me. Um, I had that phone, and I'll say less than, like, three weeks, it wanted to act up, so, it was just passed this weekend. I got me the new phone, so, um, I don't think that it did, it just didn't want to come on. Like, he would come on and it would shut off. And the phone would be, like, on 68%. So, the moral of this story is, like, don't matter what kind of phone that you get. And LG has good batteries. And it's, like, really? So, the phone that I really wanted is the Note 7. But the Note 7 is banned. Because it had numerous cases of it setting on fire and it's like oh really so I wanted it but it's like it was too much so yeah and like one thing about Samsung the pre I think the reason why I exploded like that is because the way the note the new I think it was a note 5 and the um the note 7 how it's made out of the glass and like Samsung have a reputation of their phones overheating so it's like if your phone is overheated by you having this plastic cover why would you put glass on there and let me put this in this way for those of you who are not tech I mean like energy I don't know biology people and I'm not good at biology you know I got this safety but you know um let's just say you know back in the day how the girls would go outside and they would have like this foam aluminum looking thing like a summary thing to block the sun it's something like that you know what I'm talking about it's like a visor so it's like this full thing and they would be like this by the pool side okay so that reflection from the sun rays hit the thing and it bounced back off but it bounced up so there has been numerous cases of the girls hair has been like frying or their face to get really dark or they would get very bad summer she can look this up uh but something burns and they probably get other things as well but that's what i know so they would get those and they probably did not notice like why why that is happening to them they probably just like oh this is what i got this for which was a bad idea um, so basically that glass phone the heat from that battery is tr it's kind of like trying to bounce off I don't know it's hard to explain but it's trying to bounce off the heat and the batteries gets overheat like it starts to sweat and it causes like explosions and things like so it's like a sweat and water and battery is gonna have a bad reaction and something else too so yeah so I wanted a phone, and it's probably good that I did not get it. But I haven't heard anything bad about the Note Fours or Note Fives. I'm sure the battery acts the same. It's like Samsung. 
you need to find out. Yeah. But the thing is, they have a long history of their batteries acting like that. So it's like, y'all did not listen to the other consumers and watch your reviews of your products about the battery. Like, if you go and look up the Note 4 or any kind of Samsung phone, the battery, uh, the phone reviews, the battery is part of the low rated thing out of all of it. People will rate the camera more than like the call quality or the battery. And it's like, y'all need to do something. Y'all need to contact ALG and ask them what's the secret. They need to contact them because LG has some great batteries. Now, I take that back because my mom, she had the LG 3. And I had the, her phone as a replacement when mine's acting up, not working. But that phone switched as well. So, I think it's just a battery thing in general. And all companies should take note. Now, I never had a iPhone, so... I don't know how iPhone works. Now I had an iPod and I didn't know like the way that works so I didn't like the way iPods yeah because if it, yeah so I did not want an iPhone I wanted an iPad but I didn't like the way it worked either so I just got me a Samsung Galaxy tablet so and I've been with Samsung ever since and I love Samsung products so don't get me wrong I love their products but that battery issue needs to be Fix. It needs to be fixed. Like, come on, Simpson. Provide for the lower customers. I said lower loyal customers. I don't know if I would have put on uh, those thing. I'm putting on all camera. That's exactly why I hate putting on on there. And this is like a felt tip, but it has like a weird looking shape. So I'm not the best. I need more practice. Practice. Um, this is else. I will put on mascara, but I don't feel like it. I love mascara. Like my normal day, I just put on mascara, do my eyebrows, and put on my face makeup and go by day, go back by day. Or sometimes I just put on no makeup on, face makeup, just mascara and my eyebrows. So it depends on my mood. So I'm not gonna put on my no mascara. Probably won't. I don't know. I don't feel like it. Um, I had something else that I want to talk to you guys about. Oh yeah, so I'm going to do a what's on my phone video soon. I think I'm pretty much like finished editing my phone, setting up my phone because this thing that I have on my phone is so pretty. Like it's. So so freaking pretty you guys like you have to see it it's very beautiful like <laughs> it's off the chain and I don't know if I'll probably record it today or I will record it like next month around like November but it's so cute Ugh, it's so cute. And I just had the phone for like a week. And it's already decorated. Um, I'm ordering some cases. They're gonna come around November, so. Yeah. So I like my French Wave wig. So this is like my second time buying this wig. I have the old one. Let me show you the old one. Here's the old wig. Here's the old one. And this is the second time that I bought it. And it's cute. As you can see the old one. It's, it's okay. It's in okay condition. But this is my new one. And I had it for like... I've been wearing it for like two weeks. So... This is how it is. And this is the old one. So I still wear this one if I want to be lazy. Ugh, that's a hot mess. I need to, <laughs> y'all, my wigs literally like slip back. But eh, I don't like that. It looks, it looks unnatural. It's 
So, I had someone who commented on my video. Well, I had two incidents about this week, but it was actually this one. And it was like a three, I thought it was like a one month review on this week, but same week. Anyways, and I deleted it and blocked her. But anyways, so she was like, that weed looks dry, it doesn't, it ain't cute, whatever. And I'm like, if you don't like the wig, it's like, okay. Alright, but it's like, you took the time to comment on my video to tell me that you did not like the wig. When you can just click off. I have seen videos when they wigs commence and I just click off. It's like, uh-uh. But I won't dare leave the comment. It's always the people who don't have no picture on their profile. Or they'll use like an avatar looking thing or flowers or something like that. It's like really or cartoon character. It's like girl bad. You can have several seats. So yeah. Um but anyways in that video the wig was very moisturized and defined. So it's like I didn't get it. It's like what you think the wig's supposed to be driven wet? For it to be moisturized or whatever. Like, it is very moisturized. So, I don't know. Yeah. Just look at French Way, the one month review on my channel. And you'll see it. But the lighting in the video was bad. So, it did not bring out the quality of it. But if you see my three month update of that week, it looks very nice. So, it's like, what is she talking about? And I promise you, if you look at her weave in person... Yeah, it's perfectly now it's par. I'm putting my setting spray. Did I contour my face with my powder? I don't know. I think I did, but I mean, I just don't like when folks just comment on people's videos to leave bad comments. It's just like click off. And they be like, oh, it's constructive criticism. It's like, you call somebody fat or ugly, that's not constructive criticism. And those people have very bad lives that's coming on your video. So they have to feel, they feel the need to bring you down. Because they have nothing else going for themselves. Uh, and I had someone coming on my video about, okay, I have marks right here under my arms. And I don't know if I want to talk about it, uh -uh, do a video about them, but I am taking medications for it. And if you know somebody who has it, or if you have it, you probably know what it is. But I'm allergic to, I'm gonna use it, I'm allergic to like deodorant, so I don't wear deodorants. For instance, like I don't wear deodorants. And I don't, I'm allergic to it. Um, don't matter if it's Arm and Hammer, I use that. Don't matter if it's baking soda, I use it. Like, I use every deodorant it in the box. And I'm allergic to it. Like, I'm allergic to it. Now, one thing I know, I don't stink. And I don't smell messy. So, when they hear that, I don't want deodorant, they be like, what? And it's people who wear deodorant and they're musty. So, yeah. I bathe really good. Oh my god. I bathe really good. So, you don't even smell no mist on me. So, check yourself. And, yeah, so, it's like, I don't wear deodorant. I just bathe with soap and water. And if I do smell a little bit tad bit, which I don't, um, I mean, I would get some apple cider vinegar and put it under there just a little bit. But I don't even have no apple cider vinegar. Or I just get a wet, wet paper towel and I just pat it, pat it, and dry it up. But other than that, I don't put nothing under my armpits. They just, I just bathe. And I think that's why a lot of people, their deodorants don't work like that. It's because they don't wash their armpits thoroughly. And. Yeah, I'm just allergic to deodorant and things like that. And there's certain food, foods that I cannot eat, but I still eat foods, which is crazy though. But you guys, this video is like 35 minutes long, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll touch you guys soon.
Bye.